complete the table uh, of values below for n cube plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 using each of the values of n below. So we're going to use uh, these values of n and use this formula to complete this table. So we have got n cube, so this is 1 cube plus 3 times 3 times 3 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 1. So this is 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1, which is this is 4 plus 4, 8. Or you can use a scientific calculator. So let me cancel this. You can go like this. 1 cube plus 3 times 1 squared. It's always good to use a tool if you're not sure. Plus 3 times 1 plus 1. That will give me 8. Okay, so when we use 2, this is 2 cubed, which is 8. I'll now write it directly plus 3 times 2 squared, which is 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 1. Now this is 20 plus 7, which is 27. If it is 3, it will put 3, so 3 cubed I know is 27, plus 3 times 3 times 3 squared, which is 3 times 9, which is again 27, plus 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 1. So this is 54 plus 10, which is 64. Now if you want to do this on a calculator, you can directly go like this, cancel this, and then you can go 3 cubed, this is a cube key, which is 27, plus 3 times 3 squared, uh, plus 3 times 3, 3, or oh, 3 times, I should cancel this, okay, so let me do it again, 3 cube, plus 3 times 3 squared, plus 3 times 3, uh, plus 1 is 64, okay, and finally 4 cube, the so 4 cube I know is 64 plus 3 times 4 squared. So 4 squared is 16, so you have to use bed mass. First use the exponent, so 3 times 16 is 48 plus 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1. Okay, so this is, this would be, uh, this would be 125. Okay, so let me confirm this on a calculator. It's always good to confirm. So cancel, it is 4 cube uh, plus 3 times 4 squared uh, plus 3 times 4 plus 1, which is 125. Okay, so I want to, you to see a pattern, or these numbers should be familiar. Okay, these are uh, power numbers. So 2, 8 is, I hope you know, is 2 cube. Okay, what do you know about 27? 27 is 3 cube. When you see numbers like this, you should know, if you have this knowledge, 64 is 4 cube and 125 is 5 cube. So can you see a relation between this n and this number? So, well, this this is a whole expression. So this is, is, this is, this is, this is 8. <laughs> so this is 1 plus 1 uh, cube. So, and can you see this is 2 plus 1, and then you cube it, then you get 27. 3 plus 1 is 4. So this is the formula of n plus 1, the whole cube. Okay, this may be a bit of a stretch for some of you. But once you get these types of numbers, if you know power numbers, that will help you. So let's suppose, let's presume that you don't know this. So let's move on to the next question. Okay, now the graph below shows y is equal to n cubed. So this is your y-axis. On y-axis you have taken y, and on x-axis you have taken n. So, so let's first read the graph. Okay, so what is given? 
So this is what so this is going up in this is on x axis this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 this is 4 this is going up in so this is 10 this is 20 and so on so this is going up in twos 2 4 6 8 10 so this is 1 1 this point is this point is 1 comma 1 because 1 cube is 1 this point is 2 comma 8 this is 2 comma 8 this is 3 cube is 27 this is 3 comma 27 and this is 4 comma 64 if you look properly this is 62 and 664 this is 4 comma 64 so let's plot these points this point is 1 comma 8 so 1 comma 8 is we know so let me write 1 comma 1 down so this is this point is 1 comma 1 this point is 1 comma 1 the point that we want to plot is 1 comma 8 so how do you plot so you already know 8 on the y-axis so this is very easy to plot so this is 1 comma 8 this point is 1 comma 8 the next point is the next coordinate is 2 comma 27 so you already know where is 27 uh, 27 is here and that is let's transpose this here rightly let's transpose this so this is 2 comma 27 I want to see a relationship between that the next point is 3 comma 3 comma 64 so 3 comma 64 we know 64 is here so 3 comma 64 uh, would be yeah am I right yeah okay the next point is 4 comma 125 so let's not worry about that so let's plot graph this so what is this is a graph of this is the graph of y is equal to n cube plus 3n squared this is the graph of y is equal to n cube plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 so if you look at the points carefully you see what it, uh, one very interesting thing this point 3 comma 27 this point 3 comma 27 has moved to 2 comma 27 okay this point 4 comma 64 has moved to 3 comma 64 so basically if you look at the transformation each of this point has moved one to the left okay 5 comma 64 5 the next point will be suppose let me say if you sketch this 5 comma 125 120 well, this is 120 this is 120 124 125 will come here somewhere here yeah. so this this is 5 comma this is 5 comma 125 that will move to this is this point so if you if you trans, if you graph this it will go like this this will move uh, yeah, so this is this point here roughly So this is 4 comma 125 so each of this point has moved Has moved one to the left can you see this has moved one to the left? This has also moved one to the left and so on So that will help us to answer the next question comment of the graph y is equal to n cube and the graph y is equal to this so we can write this is this and this are the same graph okay but the problem uh, the difference is this has moved one to the left okay so you can see uh, the graph you can write like this the graph of y is equal to n cube plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 is 
translation or transformation is translation or transformation both are the same words or transformation of y is equal to n cube 1 to the left 1 unit to the left if you want to make it a bit more technical it is a horizontal transformation of 1 unit to the left okay now the next question is this is the formula of a plus b the whole cube so let me write this again so a plus b the whole cube is given by this formula which is a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube so how how did it get from year to year if you just want to understand this is basically a plus b times a plus b times a plus b if you expand this out if you expand this out you'll get this okay now our focus is not that find an expression for the difference between the cubes of two consecutive whole numbers so let us uh, describe or let us write how would you write two consecutive uh, cubes of two consecutive whole numbers so let two consecutive let two consecutive whole numbers b say n and n plus 1 n and n plus 1 be the two consecutive whole numbers so the difference between the cubes difference between the cubes between their cubes can be written in this form would be n plus 1 the whole cube minus n cube so the question is find an expression for the difference between the two cubes of the whole number so we want to use this formula to find what's the formula for difference of two cubes so let's first write n plus 1 let's find n plus 1 the whole cube so n plus 1 the whole cube we are going to use this formula so we can compare your a we're going to compare a with n and we can compare the b with 1 so comparing this with this your a cube becomes uh, n cube plus 3 times a squared so 3 times n squared times b which is 1 plus 3 times 1 this dot means 1 times b squared no 3 times sorry 3 times 3 times your a is n times uh, 1 squared plus 1 cube so simplifying this we can say n plus 1 the whole cube is n cube plus 3 n squared plus 3 n plus 1 so this implies we can say n plus 1 the whole cube minus n cube is equal to in place of n plus 1 whole cube I can write this so I can write n cube plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 and then you go to this minus n cube so this plus n cube and minus n cube gets cancelled so this implies n plus 1 the whole cube minus n cube is equal to 3n squared plus 3n plus 1 okay 
How does this result, result relate to the graph you drew in part 2, part B2? So this is n cube minus n, n plus 1 whole cube minus n cube is this graph. So this is, if you look at this graph, this graph can be said, this is the graph of, this is the graph of n plus 1 the whole cube because this graph has translated 1 to the left so plus 1 means this has moved 1 to the left so this this graph is the graph of n plus 1 the whole cube and this is the graph of n cube so n cube if you if you take away this from this you're going to get a quadratic equation 